Hello everyone, my name is Colvator and welcome back to Detroit Become Human! Man, oh, sorry it's been such a long gap between last episode and this episode, but uh, my ripsaw is having problems. And... Sorry, I got distracted with this going on, but yeah, my ripsaw is having problems, we've got them fixed now, so we can get back to recording our PS4 series, which I'm super excited about, especially back in this lovely game. Hank was annoyed at this, we pissed him off at the office, we seem to have reconnected with him a bit, because we listened to his orders and didn't chase after Alice and Kara. Um, Avdar, Pedro, unemployed, criminal record, illegal gambling, and fraud. <laughs> All right, I'm in. Damn straight. Hey, you won't regret this. What is your problem? What you ever do as you're told? I you don't have to follow me around like a poodle. Um. Apologize for behavior. I'm sorry for my behavior back at the police station. I didn't mean to be unpleasant. Oh, wow. You've even got a brown nosing apology program. You guys at Cyberlife thought everything, huh? He seemed to like that, Here though. Hamburger. <laughs> Are we really doing this? Are we... Uh... Okay, it's Gary, business owner, criminal record, resisting a wretched breach of hygiene regulations. Uh... Can we scan the drink? Excel soda, carbonated pineapple passion. Uh, anything else we can scan about the situation? Let's scan Hank. <laughs> why, why not? Let's just scan everything. Uh, no criminal record, which we kind of expect. Is there, I feel like, is there anything else we can scan about the situation? That's the hamburger, isn't it? That's the hamburger, we scanned that. Can we scan anything else? <laughs> can we scan anything? What can we scan? Is that everything? Did we scan everything? Bin? No? Anything else? No, I think we scanned everything. Oh, thanks, Gary. I'm starving. I'll leave that thing here. Oh, not a chance. Follows me everywhere. He doesn't... He doesn't want us to stay here, which makes me kind of want to stay here. But I want... I want Hank to like us. Is he going to get pissed off at us standing here? <laughs> What's he doing? What is, what is he doing? Is he doing anything shady? Oh, we can watch the hockey. Go, go that team. I want that team to score. <laughs> score! Oh wait, doesn't Hank like the hockey? No, Hank liked basketball. Alright, well, let's go talk to Hank. I don't think anything's gonna happen there. Um. Uh. uh Enjoy your meal. Thank you. Uh, do we talk about. Uh, food, uh, gambling? This Pedro? He was proposing illegal gambling. 
Am I right? Yeah. And you made a bet? Yeah. Okay. Um... Okay, let's talk about the highway. This morning, when we were chasing those deviants, why didn't you want me to cross the highway? Because you could have been killed. I, and I don't like filling out paperwork for damaged equipment. About Connor. Is there anything you'd like to know about me? Hell no. Well, yeah. Um, why do they make you look so goofy and give you that weird voice? Cyberlife androids are designed to work harmoniously with humans. Both my appearance and voice were specifically designed to facilitate my integration. Well, they fucked up. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, Hank and androids. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Why do you hate androids so much? I have my reasons. Maybe I should tell you what we know about deviants. You read my mind. Proceed. We believe that a mutation occurs in the software of some androids, which can lead to them emulating uh, a human emotion. In English, please. They don't really feel emotions. They just get overwhelmed by irrational instructions which can lead to unpredictable behavior. Emotions always screw everything up. The androids aren't as different from us as we thought. <laughs> you ever dealt with deviants before? A few months back, a deviant was threatening to jump off the roof with a little girl. I managed to save her. So I guess you've done all your homework, right? Know everything there is to know about me? Well, tell them the truth. I know you graduated top of your class. You made a name for yourself in several cases and became the youngest lieutenant in Detroit. I also know you've received several disciplinary warnings in recent years, and you spend a lot of time in bars. <laughs> so what's your conclusion? My conclusion? Ah, uh, sincere. I think working with an officer with personal issues is an added challenge. But adapting to human unpredictability is one of my features. Oh. I just got a report of a suspected deviant. Did we? <laughs> it's a few blocks away. We, we're getting in with Hank. Hank likes this. I'll let you finish your meal. I'll be in the car if you need me. Are we breaking Connor's programming? <laughs> Can we break his programming? I want him to become deviant too. <laughs> oh man. Being deviant is not that bad. You run out of batteries or what? I'm sorry. I was making a report to Cyberlife. Uh. Well, do you plan on staying in the elevator? No. I'm coming. What do we know about this guy? Question the suspect. Not much. Just that a neighbor reported that he heard strange noises coming from this floor. Right. Nobody's supposed to be living. Something to scan? Can we scan that? Thing here. But the neighbor said he saw a man hiding an LED. Sorry to interrupt the talking, but I want to know. Rock Here's pigeon. Cap. Oh, Christ. If we have to investigate every time somebody hears a strange noise, we're going to need more cops. Nothing else we can investigate there. Hey, were you really making a report back there in the elevator? Correct. Hmm. Anybody home? Open up, Detroit police! Stay behind me. Got it. I don't like that, that music. Alright, I'm gonna stay close to Hank. I'm gonna stay with him. Scan okay, room. Nothing there. I'm gonna stay behind Hank though. We're gonna follow orders. Alright. Ah, 
A uh, bunch of bags. What the fuck is this? What the fuck? What the fuck? Why are there so many birds? Ugh. Jesus, this place stinks. What the heck? Uh, Alright, well, there was a lot for us to interact with back there. It looks like we came for nothing. Our man's gone. Sorry, the dog was just barking, so I just wanted to go see what he was barking about, but he seems to have just been barking at nothing, so whatever. Let's just get back into the game. We just found a military jacket with the initials RT on it. Um, sorry, we might have lost a little bit of the dialogue there. I may have to get edited out, but not nothing too important to my understanding was said. Suspect cares for wild animals. All right. I mean, that much was clear from the fact that there are tons of pigeons in here. Um, Rupert Travis. The driver's Audrey, license is fake. Cool. At least we didn't come for nothing. What's in the fridge? Doesn't eat. Judging by these perfect patterns on the walls, I reckon it's a deviant. I'm gonna do that last. Uh, wasn't there something over here we could interact with? Was there not another thing? I thought there were two things. Oh, what's over here? I want to do the closet last. Oh, we can interact with things over here. Any idea what it means? RA9. Written 2,471 times. Freaking hell. It's the same sign Ortiz's android wrote on the shower wall. Why are they obsessed with this sign? Looks like mazes or something. Obsessive compulsive writing. Recently disturbed traces of avian fecal matter. Open the marker pen, still wet, used recently. Okay. Suspect was here recently. He was riding, he fell. Suspect ran to the living room. I reckon he's in the closet. Ah, Jesus, I hate these things! LED, eye component deactivated. It's LED is in the sink! Not surprised it was an android. No human could live with all these fucking pigeons. Blue blood. So we know who it is, what it is. And we know it ran to the living room. We can inspect some stuff. We can analyze this. Real. Skid mark recently. Recent trace of no fingerprints. Recently 
Birkin. Reconstruct. Suspect ran towards the entrance. Suspect heard us enter. Suspect is still here. Whoops. I thought I was the last guy who tried to keep some. Uh, electronic books. You can't smell the paper. See the pages turning yellow. Um, you have the urban farm poster. Well, we know the suspect is still here. Poster corner recently. Recently moved. You have no idea what I'm talking about, do you? Can we talk to Hank and let him know that he's still here? No? Alright, well I guess we just have to go investigate up here then. Uh, Holy hey, shit. God damn fucking pigeons! He's running! What are you waiting for? Chase it! Alright, we gotta catch him. Fast but risky, easy but slow. Balance, safety detour, fast but risky. Ah, shit. Greg for crowded, safer detour. Come on. Oh, son of a bitch. God, this is insane. Holy shit. Oh, this is crazy. Oh my god, what are we doing? I'm sorry we're chasing a deviant here. And we thought Marcus was good at parkour. Jesus, look at Connor go! Drug with crowded, safe but slow. Oh, Oh, that way. Ah. Oh, shit, where'd he go? <gasps> oh, I'm gonna save Hank. My fault. I should have been faster. You'd have caught it if it weren't for me. That's all right. 
We know what it looks like. We'll find it. That was no question in my mind. Save Hank immediately. Hey, Connor. Nothing. Oh my god. Holy shit. Holy shit. Oh. Oh. So we missed a couple of things in the apartment, but overall we did good. We found the diary, which is important. Um... I'm guessing we could have maybe not found Rupert, and it could have ended there. We possibly could have fucked up and died too, I reckon. <laughs> that was pretty fucking dangerous. But, uh, oh man. Yeah, let's keep going. Oh. We're back with Marcus. In Jericho. Who are you? Fugitives. Just like you. My name is Josh. I'm Simon. North. Uh... Refuge. I don't understand. I thought Jericho was a place where androids lived in freedom. We do live in freedom. It may not be what you hoped for, but here we have no master. We don't belong to anybody. Um... Jericho? This is Jericho? It's a refuge for those who don't want to be slaves anymore. Trail. And you knew that only an android could follow the trail, didn't you? Only those who are like us can find Jericho. If you could decipher the signs, it's because one of us trusted you enough to give you the key. There's a place where we can be free. Find Jericho. I understand how you feel. But we have more freedom here than you ever did. Direct. Waiting in the dark for something to happen? That's not how I see freedom. You're lost. Just like the rest of us. We didn't ask for this. All we can do now is deal with it. You're safe here. You can stay with us as long as you want. Go and see Lucy. She might be able to help you. Find Lucy, explore Jericho. Can we scan people? Fire, fire. Okay. Why start fires? Are you? I'm not in very good shape, am I? My diagnostic program isn't working. <laughs> I don't think it would have anything good to say anyway. What happened to you? They tied me to the back of a car. I think they wanted to have fun. I don't want to shut down. No, I don't want to shut down. My God, that's awful. Oh my God. I want, I'm going to go talk to people real quick. What about you? What happened to you? I've heard humans are afraid of dying too. Do you know what happens after death? No. No, I don't. Well, I'm about to find out. What's your name? Marcus. I 
I was glad to meet you, Marcus. My God. Everyone's just standing around. Can we talk to them? No. Crate already emptied. Club Life Warehouse and Docks, West Torrance Avenue, Detroit, Michigan. Someone else to talk to? This is North. Of these guys in pretty bad shape. That's how the humans treat those who disobey. They despise us. They'll never accept what we are. Uh. Well, these guys need spare parts and blue blood. Why hasn't anybody gone to get that? It's not that simple. Can't just go shopping at a cyber life store. Anyway, nobody wants to risk leaving Jericho. You. What was your function before coming here? What do you care? Damn it. If you came here for comfort, you came to the wrong place. Damn it. We messed that up. She doesn't like it. She's resentful of this. <sighs> well, let's go find Lucy. Or we could go up the stairs. Oh, I thought that was in track with this guy for a minute. It's that RA9 again. What's with RA9? Could we interact with this? There's an arm there. There's also a door here. Will it let us up there? Is the next question. No. Alright, let's just go find Lucy. That's obviously what the game wants us to do. And I'm pretty sure this was her over here. Oh my god, this place. Anything up there we can interact with? Not the looks of it. Are you Lucy? Oh my god. Sit down. Oh my god, what happened to her? Show me. Stop the bleeding. Drink this.
Give me your hand. What happened to her eyes? You had it all. And you lost it all. You've seen hell and now hell lives in you. Your heart is troubled. A part of shadow and a part of light. Which will prevail? Your choices will shape our destiny. Well, that was foreboding. That one's Simon, right? Simon. I know where we can find spare parts. Cyberlife Warehouse is in Detroit Harbor. They have everything we need. The docks are guarded. We can't just walk in there and take what we want. Humans will never let us. Which is why we won't ask permission. We don't have any weapons. And even if we did, none of us knows how to fight. We can steal what we need without fighting. We'll just get ourselves killed. Maybe. But it's better than waiting here to be shut down. I'm with you. Hey, North agrees. Maybe it's worth a try. Simon agrees. Okay. I'm in. Josh agrees. Cool. So... Public opinion is still skeptical. Jericho is neutral with us. North, Josh, and Simon are all neutral with us. Awesome. Awesome. Maybe we should have lit the fires. Maybe we should have done that. Anyway, we're stuck with our choices now, and that's probably all we're going to do for this episode. So once again, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please subscribe. It really does mean a lot to me. Remember, you can check out my channel for more videos that I've done, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye!